August 22, 2014, Friday evening. You see the Grand Hyatt? I was at the Grand Hyatt Hotel Singapore celebrating a friend's 60th birthday. This brought back happy memories of a Miami's vet who did a house call with me in this hotel four years ago. A case of the fearless vet. Four years ago, on July 20th, 2010, a cat in the Grand Hyatt Hotel had swallowed a needle. The cat pawed his owner every time he tried to open his mouth to remove the needle. So, he phoned me at Topayo Vets for a house call. I requested Dr. Ong to help me as I knew he was good at handling cats. He is a fearless vet. We took the lift to the owner's apartment and saw the cat hiding between the toilet and the wall of the master bathroom. Dr. Ong grabbed the cat by the scruff of the neck before I could say hello. The cat clawed him and escaped to hide behind the curtain. Prepare the sedative injection first, I said to Dr. Ong. He did it. Then, he quietly approached the cat behind the curtains and gripped his scruff of his neck and held him up. I injected the cat's backside muscle. Suddenly, another cat pounced onto Dr. Ong and scratched his leg. This was unexpected. The owner removed this cat. We wrapped the first cat in a towel and pulled out the needle. The owner and his wife were really happy with the outcome. Fast forward to present day 2014. Now, Dr. Ong has a busy practice Royal Asia Veterinary Surgery Clinic in Yangon. Which treats many patients. Is that patient death. or not? Yeah, my patient. Are you there? Yeah. Yeah. Fracture. Yeah. 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 Okay, there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, abscess. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, I see how many months already? About a month already. A month. Uh. Yes. Bigger. It becomes big and bigger and bigger. Yeah, bigger. Yeah. Is that on something? <laughs> how? Because the. They are nature, they want to be angry, they how to call it, they step on it, they step it. Like rabbit? Boom, 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 like it, it becomes the surface of the garden. Oh, good. Uh, 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 mm, but very handsome. Uh. How do you know? A dog has sex hormone dermatosis. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
basically only the, the limbs and the face are original hair. This is not, not original. Original? No, this no. Are not, no, this are not original. Yeah, original. Original and legs that are original, original hair. Yeah, mm. original. Only these two, four, one, two, three, or five. Uh. So, sex hormone, the mortis, in tech male dogs. Royal Asia vet surgery, the eyeball of this puppy. Shizu puppy has a mistake. You can see there's a increase in pressure to show compared to this one. It's normal, it's normal. So the eyeball is not uh, swollen. It's not whether it's born with this or not. Is, is it born with this problem? You can see the eyeball moving, knee stagnus, we call it knee stagnus. The eyeball rolling, rolling side. It's not roll, no? see? You see the eyeball rolling. No? Rolling also? No, you see. The dog jump, the mother jump on the head. No, yeah. no, no. Mother jump, nothing. So how long already? Yeah, I mean, they don't know about the same. Mother jump or no? Born was normal. Now, born was normal. After 25 days, maybe mother jump or whatever, they don't know. Now, how old is it now? Now, we're the last jump. The last jump. Three weeks, three weeks old? 45 days. Huh? 48 days. 48 days old. Huh? So this thing happened in 25 days old? Huh? Yes, correct. Yeah, it's part of the injury, the brain. And Happy has a stent in bad condition now. Despite treatment, you can see the nervous signs have come in for distemper, the twitching. The pneumonia and recumbent, not able to stand up. What's the temperature? What's one, the temperature? one or three. Is there a fever? So it's not eating. Perfect. The twitching. July, uh, June. 192014. Can I, can I but we have just seen four out of the several thousand cases that Dr. Ong treated since he opened his Royal Asia Veterinary Surgery Yangon in 2012. But how did he get so many customers? For one, he had worked for around 20 years in Singapore as a veterinary assistant. From 1992 to 2012, he worked in six clinics. These were Ang Mokyo Veterinary Surgery under Dr. Thiru Chelbagam, the Animal Clinic, James Tan Veterinary Center, and Ang Mokyo Veterinary Surgery, which was sold to Mount Pleasant Veterinary Center in 2010. Secondly, hard work sacrifices and perseverance in Singapore enabled him to gain much veterinary knowledge, skills and expertise in small animal medicine and surgery in those 20 years. Thirdly, he is very interested in veterinary surgery of dogs, cats, hamsters, rabbits, guinea pigs, turtles, birds and fishes. For example, in November 2008, I was performing an uncommon surgery. A dog had a big chicken bone trapped between the gullet and the stomach. You can see this from this x-ray.
he sacrificed his day off to observe the surgery. What will you do? I asked him. This is part of my coaching method to elicit ideas from Dr. Ong. Should I cut the bone into two halves? He shook his head. I had given an antispasmodic earlier. I pulled the bone out from the gullet and stomach easily. The dog recovered. Despite his busy schedule, he spends time to contribute to his Myanmar Veterinary Association and his university. He is the guest lecturer to final year students to the Yetzin University of Veterinary Science in August 2014. Demonstrating surgical techniques to final year students in Yetzin University of Veterinary Science in August 2014.
Spring. He worked as a cattle and poultry vet in the Kachin state, Myanmar, till 1991. He went to Singapore in 1992. This is the Yetzin Dam, next to the university where he graduated in 1987. And here is a message from Dr. Singh Kongyuan, BVMS Glasgow, MRCBS. Founder of Topayo Vet, Singapore. Go. August 26, 2014, Singapore. I have commissioned this video about Dr. Ken Tun Ong, veteran surgeon of Royal Asia Veterinary Surgery, has a present for him. I have known him for more than 20 years when he first came to Singapore to work for other vets and uh, over time we have, we have become good friends. So I'm making this video for his uh, new website and also to wish him well in his uh, driving practice in Yangon. I have visited him recently and uh, there were so many cases which are not seen in Singapore. This is because uh, many owners have come to see him for complicated cases which require surgery as apparently most vets in Yangon, in my observation, do not do surgery. And uh, for example, even uh, spaying of the dog and cats, that's because the culture was to give birth control injections uh, in the past, and so uh, the vets do not appear to uh, do much surgery, but this is a pre preliminary observation. I may be wrong. Then uh, the other reason could be the lack of anesthetic, gaseous anesthetic machines, as it is expensive. Now, the problem with uh, investing in anesthetic machines is that if you don't have cases, the machine is not used, and so you can't uh, you can't uh, amortize it, and so that may be the reason that uh, the best use injectable anesthetics. Now, in injectable anesthetics are not safe for long surgeries, and uh, that could be the reason that uh, complicated surgeries like fractures of bones are not done. So, Doctor Ong being uh, experienced in Singapore, having worked with several vet clinics, has uh, acquired considerable skill and expertise in veterinary surgery, and he also likes veterinary surgery. He can spend hours talking about veterinary surgery and cases he had done. So I find him to be a very...
passionate about veterinary medicine and surgery. Very focused and driven as he works long hours. Uh, he's one of the rare vets who really are excellent vets who takes veterinary medicine as a calling rather than has a means to make money. So I wish him well in his future.